The 2022 NRL season has just come to an end, but the Rugby League world does not stop, especially when there's a World Cup that is set to kick off in just under two weeks' time. So many teams have just finalized their squads, and we're going to be going through them over the next couple days. We'll be looking at the squads that have been revealed and picking my best 1-17, to and we're going to start off with the top dogs, my team, the Australian Kangaroos, I think on paper they are still the strongest team going into this tournament. However, they're definitely beatable. And there are some countries out there like New Zealand, Samoa, and even Tonga who can definitely put a threat to this Kangaroos side. Alright guys and gals, before we get any more into the video, please smash that like button if you enjoy it. Comment your thoughts down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It is completely free and you can always unsubscribe later. So just smash that button right now. But let's get straight back into the video. So here is the 24-man squad. Josh Adokar, Matt Burton, Regan Campbell-Gillard, Patrick Carrigan, Daly Cherry Evans, Nathan Cleary, Lindsay Collins, Reuben Cotter, Angus Crime, Tino Fasul Malawi, Campbell Graham, Harry Grant, Valentine Holmes, Ben Hunt, Liam Martin, Latrell Mitchell, Cameron Munster, Cameron Murray, Jeremiah Nanai, Murray Taulagi, James Tedesco, the captain, Jake Travojevic, Jack White, and Jose Yo, and they are obviously coached by Mal Meninga. There are two big omissions, technically three that are all standby players. You got Damien Cook, who's the incumbent number nine. So I guess that might put to bed all the rumors that Mal's gonna stick with the incumbents. And that's why Daly Cherry Evans hasn't even been given a vice captaincy. And then the big two ones are Nico Hines, who is the Daly M winner, and Dylan Ed was the Clive Churchill medalist. I both had them in my 24-man squad. I didn't even have Damien Cook, to be honest, though, guys. But, damn. Dylan Edwards. That's a... If he was ever going to get picked for a representative jersey, it'd be this. Because he was the best player, not just in the grand final, but in this final series. He's had an unbelievable season. And then the man who took the player of the year off him, Nico Hines, he wasn't picked either. And honestly, look, it's hard to fit them in. I get why Mao's gone with a few outside backs, but I would have those two over the likes of, you know, Murray Talagi and Campbell Graham. I think Matty Burton can fill the center spot that they both can, and then there's plenty of wingers. Holmes can play wing. Dylan Edwards, he could slot on the wing. And Nico Hines, I think he's your perfect 18th man, but I guess Mal, he's gone in a different direction, and that is your Kangaroo squad for 2022. I wouldn't change much, except for maybe I would drop Campbell Graham as well as Murray Talagi for Dylan Edwards and Nico Hines. But if you can't have too many playmakers, you need some depth. But in saying that, you're not going to pick Damien Cook. And I know Ben Hunt's there, but you only have one true hooker in that side. And Harry Grant, he hasn't even played 80 minutes in Origin. So if Ben Hunt is to go down, that could be a big, big, big loss for the Kangaroos. But let's get stuck right into what you all came for. My predicted 1-17. to Now, there's no doubt that all these players are going to get on the field at some point. But this is just my team. If the final was tomorrow, this is the team I would pick. So, James Tedesco at fullback and captain, of course. On the wings, I would actually go Josh Adokar and Valentine Holmes. Now, in the centers... I know a lot of people are expecting Valentine to be here, but I've gone for Latrell Mitchell and Jack Whiten, my halves. I've gone Cameron Munster and Nathan Cleary. The front row, Jake Travojevic and Tino Fasul Malali with Ben Hunt as the starting number nine. The back row, Angus on the left, Cameron Murray on the right, and Isaiah Yo at lock. My bench, it's Queenslanders only. Harry Grant, Paddy Carrigan, who did his best work in origin off the bench, Ruben Cotter, Jeremiah Nani, and the 18th man, I would give it to DCE. Now, I know he doesn't have the sort of versatility of a Matty Burton, but if a 5'8", a centre, or a, even a fullback goes down, you got Latrell, you got Jack White, and those two are very flexible and got a lot of utility value. Whereas if Cleary goes down, Munster's going to have to organise. you got Benny Hump there, so you can maybe move him into halfback, but I just think it makes more sense to have Daly Cherry Evans in that halfback role. But there is my 1-17. to 17. The big names who aren't there would probably be Matt Burton, 
Regan Campbell Gillard for a lot of people, but look, that is my opinion. Jack White, he played right center in the last time for Australia, and I think he earns a spot in this team from that Origin one. I don't think Murray Talagi was good enough in state of origin to warrant him kicking Jack Whiten out of the side. I do think Val, he can be just as effective on the wing as he was in the centers. And his two best games in origin were on the wing, left or right, it doesn't matter. I've gone Josh Adokar as well. Now, I won't lie, if Toto or Suwali were available, I'd probably go one of those two and I would move Jack Whiten out of the centers and the Fox. But that's not what's happened. Whatever your thoughts are on the eligibility rules, Let's not go into that. But there is my 1 to 17, guys. Let me know, am I right, am I wrong, in that comment section down below. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.